Hey everyone, today I want to give you what I believe are five differences between dating and courtship. That's coming up next on The Beat. Hey everyone, my name is Alan Parr. Thank you all so much for tuning in to The Beat. Recently, somebody asked me the question, what is the big difference between dating and courting? So let me just say from the beginning that these are my personal views on this subject, which is the reason why I'm not gonna put any scripture in this video because I don't wanna force my views into the biblical text where God has not spoken. And so my goal in this video is that if you are currently in a relationship with somebody, that you will assess whether you are dating according to the world's way or courting God's way. Difference number one is that dating is more recreational, whereas courtship is intentional. And what I mean here is that generally speaking, in courtship, both people enter into the relationship with a sense of readiness and a desire for marriage. They may not know that they want to marry you, but both people are coming into the relationship on the same page. Whereas in dating, one or both of the people may have no desire or readiness for marriage, but they just want to have somebody to kick it with, somebody to be conveniently involved with, somebody to be physical involved with, or just somebody to cure their loneliness. So oftentimes in dating, the focus is more so on what I can get out of the relationship, how I can have more fun, more free meals, more free vacations, more convenience, more and better sex, whereas whenever we are courting God's way, we are strongly considering how our actions may affect someone else, and we want to protect that person's heart, so much so that if the relationship does not work out for some reason, you are not damaging them for their next relationship. Difference number two is that in dating, there can be at times a lot of confusion, whereas in courtship, there's always clarity. And what I simply mean here is that in courtship, it is very clear to both people where the relationship is going, what the status of the relationship is, whether you're a couple, whether you're not, whether you're exclusive or you're seeing other people, uh, you don't have to wonder, well, what did it mean whenever you kissed me? What did it mean whenever you're taking me home to visit your family? All of these things are things that are clear because both people have made their intentions known and you're having regular conversations about where this relationship is going. Whereas in dating, because at times there can be no definition and no true commitment, it can oftentimes lead to confusion. Difference number three, dating rarely involves accountability, whereas courtship is generally done within a community. Oftentimes, not all the time, but in a typical dating relationship, there can be secrecy at times because one or both of the people in the relationship are really not sure where the relationship is going or whether it's gonna work out or not, and so they have no desire to really be public in front of other people. But in courtship, because both people are on a similar path to marriage, there is no secrecy, there is no hiding because it is generally done within a community of people who are committed to holding you accountable in your relationship. Difference number four, is that dating often follows practices in the world whereas courtship follows principles in the word. You see, the world will tell you, well, you know what, you need to try it before you buy it because you need to know what you're getting into sexually. Or, you know what, it's okay to live together before marriage. It's okay to take romantic vacations together and put yourself in tempting, compromising situations. In courtship, the couple says, you know what, because we see a genuine, authentic future in this relationship, we don't wanna do anything that could possibly jeopardize the success of this relationship. So we are gonna put healthy boundaries up. Whereas in dating, oftentimes, you may not know where the relationship is going, and as a result, putting these boundaries up is less valued. And finally, difference number five is that in courtship, breakups can be disappointing, whereas in dating, oftentimes, breakups can be devastating. So whenever there's no real commitment and the couple is not having regular conversations about where this relationship is going and what direction you want it to go, and to add this in there, if you are becoming physical and sexually involved with this person, oftentimes whenever you break up with this person, it can lead to devastation because it leads to trust issues. It leads to baggage that you take into your next relationship because of the pain from the previous relationship. But whenever you are courting somebody and you are upfront and honest with them and you're letting your intentions be made known and you guys are having regular conversations about where this relationship is going, even if the relationship doesn't work out, you can still move on even though it may be disappointing and you can still respect the other person 
person because you don't feel violated and used. And so I hope in this video that if you're dating somebody currently that you would take a genuine assessment of your relationship and ask yourself the honest question, are we dating or courting in God's way or are we dating according to the world? I would love to hear your thoughts on this subject. Please leave them in the comment section below. What's the difference between dating and courting? Hey, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time on The Beat.